Hello everyone, I am pleased to show you today our pick and spray machine. Pick and spray is our exclusive and modular sprayer which belongs to our compact range. Uh, we have designed this machine to spray uh, any kind of tack coat, bond coat with all type of bitumen emulsion within an application rate uh, range of 0.1 to 1 kg per square meter. Now it's time to have a look around. Usually tack coat are applied with truck mounted sprayers which offer and provide big emulsion capacity which are definitely the best option, particularly for um, high output job sites. But in case these machines are used for smaller scale operations, they are not so well suited uh, because of their size and potentially their lack of maneuverability. Having said this, we know as well that in the industry there is an increasing demand for small scale operations and that's the reason why we believe that uh, our machine can fill a need for uh, this this kind of operation by being small, compact and modular. Uh, on top of that, with our R&D team, we have been putting a lot of effort to make it uh, both user and eco-friendly. Pick and spray will be providing you maximum versatility. Uh, the reason for that is that we have been designing as a complete uh, separate and mobile module, which means that you can fit the complete machine on any type of carrier uh, in regard and depending on your fleet organization. What type of carrier could you be using? You could be using a trailer, which is the first type. Uh, a second type in some countries could be tractor, which is a quite popular uh, mean. And like in our case, which is from our point of view quite nice setup this is uh, the fit on a pickup uh, what is really interesting is that uh, it will not make any uh, necessary to have any uh, AGV driving license at first and then it will be reducing dramatically all costs related to the carrier with uh, big lorry uh, such as insurance cost uh, fuel cost and so on um, that's uh, bringing versatility as standard features our machine come with a 600 liter uh, emulsion tank capacity which is associated with a spray bar uh, providing 2.4 meter spraying width and then in this cover we have as well a hand lens with 15 meter pipe for uh, smaller and narrow uh, sections and everything is fully controlled from the cab so both by having a nice carrier and fully controlled from the cab provides as well comfort for the operator. As mentioned, pick and spray can be fitted with a different type of carrier. So now let's go through the different criteria uh, and specification that the, the, the carrier must uh, fulfill. Uh, at first, uh, we'll be talking about the dimensions. Um, the pick and spray must stand at least to be fully stable onto a stand and a length of 1.8 uh, meter. In combination to the length, there is of course the width. The maximum uh, width uh, in order to slide it in is 1.2 meter. Last but not the least, the, the last dimensions to fulfill is the, the, the height between uh, the bed of the, the pickup, in this case, and the ground, which should be about 1.1 uh, meter in order to make sure we have a nice ground clearance uh, for the spray bar and uh, ensuring a nice dis distribution of uh, the emulsion. In terms of weight now, uh, our module weighs 620 kg, which is really light in our industry and being fully loaded, as I mentioned, the tank is 600 liter, it brings the total weight to 1.22 ton uh, that of course your carrier must be able to uh, to to stand um, then in terms of attachment this is pretty uh, once again straightforward and easy we have been positioning on the four corners of the module holes like this in which you can be uh, placing some uh, some straps uh, of course strengthen the straps uh, in order to stand uh, the weight of the module that you will be then fixing inside uh, your carrier then uh, when you will be needing to handle the machine or in case you would like to use our pick and spray with a forklift we have here 
two locations for the forks in order to be able to uh, slide out uh, the module and uh, handle it really easily. So everything combined, as long as your can carrier can fit, which is uh, in almost cases the case, uh, you will be ready to work in less than 15 minutes. Now let's talk about in more detail about the machine. Let's start with the emulsion tank. Underneath this fiberglass resin top cover, we have the tank which provides a 600 liter uh, capacity to carry your uh, bitumen emulsion. This tank is fully insulated with rockwood layer of 100 mil all around uh, the tank. Now, if we have a look inside the beast, as you can see, we have a display which will be providing you real time uh, the content of emulsion uh, inside the tank. And you will be having as well a similar display in cab to mo monitor it while you are uh, spraying. Then we have, in terms of heating system, a full electric uh, heating system uh, by using electrical blanket offering uh, um, a capacity of 6 kilowatt uh, power. Uh, what is really interesting with, with such a system is that you will be able to head up your product about plus 15 degrees per hour, uh, no matter what is the uh, content of your tank. Even if you carry 50 liter, you will still be able to uh, heat up the product and uh, everything is powered from uh, a free phase voltage provided by your local uh, electrical network. Um, of course, when we talk about electric heating system, it means that this is 100% safe as it has no flame and as well fully uh, eco-friendly. Then you will need to, of course, load your tank. In order to do such, you will be able to use the onboard emulsion pump, which will give you the possibility to load it up within less five minutes. Let's have a look now on uh, the emulsion system. Um, as you can see, of course, everything is really easily accessible from the ground. Everything is uh, well positioned to the rear of, uh, of the module. So uh, I think this it uh, speaks for, for itself. Uh, then uh, the main component of the emulsion system is of course the emulsion pump. We use an external pump, which is uh, driven by a hydraulic motor uh, in order to uh, uh, power the, the motor. We have on board a Honda unleaded uh, gasoline engine uh, which is really dedicated for the emulsion pump. So this will be making sure that you will be getting a steady and accurate uh, spray. This pump uh, has, uh, is fitted as well and equipped with uh, an electrical plunger which will be uh, warming up your pump before starting to use it, which will be in combination with uh, a good purging at the end of your, of your job site. You will be uh, sure that uh, to not get any clogging or whatsoever, uh, making your uh, start uh, of the day uh, straightforward and, uh, and smooth. Uh, then we have uh, we have air valves uh, which will be letting the product coming out and coming back into the tank which are air actuated uh, because they are they would be uh, quite uh, difficult to handle by uh, by hand and as well they are less accessible to, to compensate this we have been fitting them uh, with air actuator and you can control them directly from uh, the rear electrical um, cabinet these two uh, air actuated valves in combination with the pump will give us the possibility to make the emulsion circulating. What does it mean? That it will be coming out from the tank, going through the system, the spray bar and coming back to tank. This will be once again warming up the rest of your uh, emulsion uh, spraying system to make sure that you get uh, a nice and efficient uh, start. As you can see here, we have an emulsion filter, which will prevent your pump uh, to, to, from any uh, blockage or whatsoever or dirtiness, uh, which again will prevent uh, any, uh, any damage on site. On board, we have uh, had to fit uh, air compressor 
the reason for that it's uh, pretty simple as I mentioned we have some valves which are air actuated but as you will see onto the spray bar we have uh, all jets which are fully controlled from the cab how do we do this we have as well uh, air actuating uh, system to uh, to do such last but not the least this uh, air compressor will be used in order to uh, do the purging at the end of the day to to be able to push back everything to clean uh, to tank uh, in a clean and uh, eco-friendly way uh, once again then this is a, a small detail but quite important for every one of you using the machine uh, for night operations we have a led uh, lighting system which will be lighting up all valves all junctions to make sure that you can operate it at night let's talk about now the uh, last uh, really important part of the machine which is the spray bar as i mentioned before the spray bar provides you a spraying width of 2.5 uh, 2.4 meter and uh, it is uh, composed of two parts one section here and another section here each of them of course being 1.2 uh, meter what is interesting to notice uh, onto this uh, this spray bar design we have been fitting it with air actuated uh, nozzles which gives uh, the, the the possibility uh, to the operator to adjust the spraying width directly from the cab and while is uh, spraying all jets are controlled two by two except the two extremes on the right hand side and on the left hand side which makes possible once again to adjust really precisely uh, the extreme side of the spray but as well potentially to be used as uh, a single jet to carry drone spraying uh, operation which could be as well uh, quite uh, useful um, for you guys then of course in this configuration we are uh, let's say ready to spray uh, once you have been uh, finishing your your day what you ha just have to do you close up the rear module and then you fold up the spray bar like this the same on the other side and thanks to this uh, design of course we are not oversizing uh, the size of the module as a last piece of information in regard to the spray bar for instance in this configuration i can spray i do not have to use both parts in the same time if i just have a small bend to do i can operate the machine like this pick and spray is uh, provided as well with a hand lens in my case when i have uh, the module fitted on uh, a pickup i have decided to store it on the side to have it easily accessible as you can see this is a foldable version unlikely what we are used to fit on the bigger machine and you just need to unfold it like this in order to have the hand lens, hand lens almost uh, ready to use once you have been unfolding the lens you open the module okay and then you will just have to connect it thanks to the fast coupling here to the main 15 meter hose pipe uh, note that the hose pipe has been fitted onto an automatic roller in order to facilitate uh, the use of the hose pipe in case uh, you cannot store it on the side or if you decide to do it uh, differently you can as well uh, slide it inside the module which is as well uh, designed for such now it's time to have a look uh, inside the cab please follow me let's have a look now on the pick and spray control station once it has been fitted and connected uh, to the rear module it will give the operator uh, all controls uh, from the cab as you can see we have three different displays this display will be uh, giving the speed of the emulsion pump the second display will be giving the emulsion content inside the cab and the last display will be giving uh, the spraying pressure here we have a potentiometer which uh, gives the possibility to define the emulsion pump speed uh, to get what you want in terms of application rate 
Then in this uh, corner we have all switches uh, in order to select the different jets you want to be uh, operating with and with and uh, defining uh, at the end your spring width. And last but not the least, here we have the start and stop spring command, uh, which will be uh, what uh, the operator will be using mainly once the spring width has been defined. We have as well here an LED uh, lighting system in order to light up all controls and display uh, to facilitate night operations. That's it for today. We hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, 360 degrees uh, video. Would you like to have any more information regarding our pick and spray or to see more 360 degree video? Feel free to visit our different social media and we hope to see you soon. Bye bye.